Ever since man first pretended his arm was a laser gun capable of burning his best friend to death in the playground, humanity has sought to develop new and sexy ways of killing each other. Whether through fire, chemicals, magnets, or just a good old-fashioned beating, we humans love nothing more than murdering our fellow meat sacks. And we're starting to get bored of regular guns and regular bullets. Which is why our world's top evil geniuses are currently devising more spectacular and gruesome ways to turn our fragile bags of flesh into a grease spot on the ground. For example, have you heard of the weapon that can manipulate lightning? How about the tank you'll never see coming? And did you know there's a laser capable of blistering your face off from over two kilometers away? Well, you do now. So without further ado, here's our list of seven super weapons that actually exist. The Pimped Out Taser Both the military and the police are always looking for new, non-lethal ways to take down an opponent, particularly because interrogating a corpse is notoriously difficult, and mostly because huge piles of dead bodies don't look so good on the evening news. One of the most interesting non-lethal weapons currently in development is the Pulsed Energy Projectile Weapon. This is a vehicle-mounted laser, which can knock a target two kilometers away straight to the ground and inflict them with a severe nerve pain. The reason we say the weapon is in development is because early testing proved that in its current state, this frightening piece of equipment isn't as non-lethal as they thought, which makes it less of a pimped-out taser and more of a super-powered laser cattle prod. Ah, lovely. I wonder if they used any of this technology in the development of the next weapon. The Active Denial System The Active Denial System is an interesting name because when it's fired in your direction, what it actually denies you is the ability to not cook like popcorn in a microwave. The ADS uses directed energy to heat the surface area of anything in its targeting range, whether that's a fried egg, a minute steak, or a human being's skin. The rays from the ADS can blister skin down to a level of 0.4 millimeters and will basically evaporate the water and heat the fat in any area it hits. This weapon was designed to be used for crowd control, but it ended up being fully deployed in Afghanistan in 2010. Then, mysteriously, every single ADS vehicle was recalled from the battlefield with no explanation. Did the active denial system cause more lingering effects than anyone thought possible? Maybe they should have tested it more? Shockingly, the weapon was tested, thoroughly, on prison inmates. Over a thousand people were subjected to the ADS and not one single participant could last more than five seconds being shot. And many people believed that the weapon was recalled because someone trapped in its path would basically be fried to death if the operator wasn't aware of their presence. But a far likelier reason for the ADS recall is that defending against it is pretty easy. If you want protection from the harmful rays of the active denial system, all you need is a roll of tin foil. Sonic Sound Weapons In our list of the top five mysterious diseases, we briefly touched upon the US military's experiments in the Gulf War at using high-powered sound waves to control or attack soldiers. But this technology has come on a lot since the 1990s, and there are weapons out there right now which can reduce human beings into a blubbering, defecating mess faster than Oprah Winfrey can come up with diet fads. Ultra-high frequencies have been seen to damage internal organs, cause spontaneous muscle contraction and nausea, and even control the very brains of the subjects inflicted. We're not talking about some crackpot ability to make people do your evil bidding here. But certain waves are capable of making people more aggressive or docile, depending on who was operating the equipment at the time. These weapons are already used in stealth by some police forces to control large crowds, particularly rioters who tend to be younger and therefore more susceptible to certain wavelengths. So it seems that these sonic sound weapons are here to stay, and who knows what power they'll have in the future. The Lightning Truck If you're gonna recruit one of the X-Men to help your military cause, you could do far worse than Storm. Not only is she capable of controlling the weather, but she's also super hot. Sadly for humanity, the real-life laser-induced plasma channel is just as destructive but nowhere near as pretty to look at, especially if you're on the end of its wrath. LIPCs work by ionizing the air using a high-intensity laser, which in turn forms a plasma channel which can conduct electricity towards the intended target. It essentially targets lightning towards anything or anyone the operator desires. At first, this technology faced a few hurdles, mostly revolving around how to power such a devastating device. 
A truck-based weapon which can direct lightning down upon a person is never going to be compatible with AAA batteries, but… In January 2012, the Picatinny Arsenal Military Research Facility in New Jersey reportedly overcame these difficulties with a successful testing of the LIPC technology. Now all we need is a weapon that can read minds and another to control metal, and we can have a real-life comic book battle. Yay! Yeah. Hypersonic Airstrikes If you're a first-person shooter fan, there's nothing better than hitting a kill streak which grants you an airstrike. You can flatten five of the enemy's guys and probably a few of your own in one fell swoop within moments of calling it in. But in real life, airstrikes don't work that fast. At least, not yet. A program called Prompt Global Strike is currently developing airstrikes with hypersonic capability. Whereas present-day drones and bombers need preparation time measured in days to respond to a threat, these weapons will be able to hit their target in under an hour. The end game is for these weapons to have the capability to travel at Mach 24, with current models only capable of hitting Mach 3. But in 2011, a test facility in Hawaii managed to hit a target 2,300 miles away in less than 30 minutes. And that's five years ago. So how fast are these hypersonic airstrikes today? The Dread Gun Sorry, Judge Dread, that name doesn't belong to you anymore, because you are nowhere near as scary as the Dread Gun. This is a centrifugal gun, which was developed by Charles St. George in 2006 and has been in development ever since. Rather than using gunpowder, a centrifugal gun weapon works by firing projectiles using centrifugal force. And in the case of the Dread Gun, that force is pretty spectacular. The firm behind the weapon, Trinamic Technologies from Connecticut, claim that their equipment can fire 120,000 rounds per second with no muzzle flash, no recoil, and presumably nothing left of the target. They claim this kind of weapon would be useful as part of a satellite platform to destroy incoming asteroids or wayward equipment. But I have this feeling that we'll see more use of this back here on Earth. The Invisible Tank? In 2013, BAE Systems developed a tank which could sneak up on unsuspecting enemies. The ADAPT4 technology uses infrared and electronic frequencies to not only blend the tank into the background, but it can even make it appear as if it is something else entirely, such as a regular road car, a cow, or heck, even a little girl with a lemonade stand. It can be any of those things by using thousands of 14-centimeter pixel panels which mimic the temperature of the tank's surroundings. BAE indicated they were experimenting with further uses, and by further uses we mean developing actual invisibility. BAE, incidentally the greatest acronym for an evil weapons manufacturer ever, have announced that their researchers are currently adapting this technology to work with other wavelengths of light. And if they succeed, we might finally have the most powerful weapon the planet has ever seen. Because it doesn't matter how big your guns are, you can't hit what you can't see. Oh, and on that note, similarly here's North Korea's secret program. Weaponizing Where's Waldo? The T-1000 Missile Remember Robert Patrick as the T-1000 in Terminator 2? Of course you do! He's one of the greatest movie villains of all time! Way better than the girl in Terminator 3 who mostly used her liquid metal form to grow bigger boobs. That was cool though. They were distracting. So perhaps in the future, breasts will be the most destructive super weapon of all? Sorry Waldo, you've just been bumped. The final entry in our list of the seven secret super weapons that actually exist is the Mayhem Artillery Round. Mayhem stands for Magneto Hydrodynamic Explosive Munition, of course it does. And these frighteningly lethal projectiles have changed the way human beings explode the crap out of each other forever. Your typical artillery shell works by exploding hot metal in the near vicinity of whatever you want to destroy. And whilst they're pretty effective, they work by damaging the external surface of a ship, tank, airplane, or building. But war? It's more like a rap battle. You don't want to lay down a diss that kind of irritates your opponent. You want to get to the very core of their being. In terms of combat, you want a projectile which can bore its way to the middle of a structure or vehicle and then explode the ever-loving bejesus out of it. And that's precisely what the Mayhem shell does. The Mayhem warheads each contain a magnetic force generator and a liquid metal core. And when the shell hits its target, this generator powers up and heats the liquid core to make it malleable. The core then transforms into a spear shape which enables the shell to travel further inside its target before unleashing almighty hell on whatever or whomever is inside. This is definitely not something you want to be in the way of when it's hurling in your direction. Not that walking into the path of an everyday regular shell would be any less painful, just less dramatic. 
If you like this video, then watch our last video about the five creepiest mysteries of space that will freak you out. Then, subscribe.